one s orbital three p orbitals and one d orbital mixed together or combined together to form five sp 3d hybrid orbitals so this is called sp 3d hybridization that means in this sp 3d hybridization in this mixture of atomic orbitals one s orbital 3p orbitals and 1d orbitals are present so totally five orbitals are present in sp 3d hybridization now let's see the example that is structure of pcl5 molecule in order to find out the hybridization of pcl5 the first thing which we have to do is to write the electronic configuration of phosphorus because phosphorus is the central atom in pcl5 so valence shell of electronic configuration of phosphorus is 3s2 that is two electrons are present in 3s orbital and 3p3 that is three electrons are present in 3p orbital and 3d0 no electrons in 3d orbital now if phosphorus wants to form five bonds with chlorine atoms then there must be five unpaired electrons are needed but actually there are only three unpaired electrons present in this phosphorus atom so it cannot be formed so in order to form pcl5 molecule hybridization takes place that means these 3s orbitals 3p orbitals and 3d orbitals come together or combine together and then they overlap to form a new set of orbitals which are having same energy and the electrons are redistributed that is called phosphorus in excited state so this is the excited state of phosphorus what happen in that there is 3s orbital 3p orbitals and then there are 3d orbitals these all orbitals overlap they become of same energy and now the electrons are redistributed so we know that we have total five electrons then the distribution will be like this one two three four five okay having one electron each so as per the rule of multiplicity that means if the orbitals are of similar energy then the pairing will start only after or each of them is singly occupied so because of that first they will all get singly occupied and then only if possible the pairing will take place so as per the new distribution of electrons there are five unpaired electrons with which five chlorine atoms will easily form five bonds so it is because as per our valence bond theory an atom having an unpaired electron forms bond with another atom having unpaired electron so if an atom wants to form five bond it must have five unpaired electrons so this is actually intermixing okay s orbital p orbital and d orbitals are intermixed together so this intermixing in order to generate all the desired electrons is called hybridization so and in this hybridization one s orbital 3p orbitals and one d orbital present so the hybridization is sp3d and with sp3d the geometry possible is trigonal